You know, they say success brings attention, but not always the welcome kind. Let me show you what I mean. You see, I've got my hands in all sorts of deals. I've got some people distilling moonshine over here. I've got others mixing up bathtub gin over there. Then others brewing up this new ritzy drink called sparkling cider. Then, on top of that, I've got all these drivers and distributors and bootleggers selling all this stuff. And I still can't keep up with the demand. I'm telling you, alcohol was never this profitable before prohibition. But all this business success has been attracting a ton of heat from the police all over my territory. In fact, they pinched one of my guys just the other day as he was driving back from a sale and took all of his cash. The cops in this town can be a real pain in the neck. Fortunately, there's a way out of this. A lot of the time, if you let them just skim a bit off the top, they'll leave you well alone. For instance, my businesses are in precinct number seven, patrolled by Officer Workus. I know how this town operates, and I was sure that if I got to know her a little bit better, we could come to some kind of an arrangement. So I looked to see who we might know in common. And imagine this, we're both friends with my old pal Liz Novikov. So I drove over to Liz's and asked her, hey, can you get me a friendly intro to our beat officer? She agreed to help me, and that got me an in. Then I drove over to Officer Workers for a friendly chat. And thanks to Liz, she trusted me. So we came to an arrangement. She got some contributions from me, and I got a reprieve from the boys in blue. At least for a while. It wasn't cheap, but hey, if you want to get to the big leagues, you gotta play ball. Now that I had the cops on my side, I could turn my attention to other problems, like this one little cafe in the West Loop run by Lewis Hawkins, which found itself inside my growing territory. Now this Lewis fella was either brave or stupid. I can't tell which. Not only he refused to pay me protection, but he also started doing business with a rival outfit. So I had to send some of my people to show him exactly why he needs to pay protection. And believe me, I didn't want to go and bust up his shop but I just can't have this kind of insubordination inside my territory. But now I've got one more problem. He's gonna go yapping about this to his whole family, and they're all gonna have a beef with me. Fortunately, this guy's a nobody. But remember, you'll need to be judicious in how you assert your power. Speaking of which, Kyle and the crew have been getting on my nerves. These corner loafers keep harassing my suppliers in the area and I can't get any deals done. So, as the final course of action, I sent my fellow Willard Novikov, Liz's brother, to go and pay him a visit with a baseball bat. He likes to use a bat for these kinds of conversations. It's an effective instrument for somebody strong and tall. And once they were done, Kyle and the crew were sending their apologies from the Cook County General Hospital. And my suppliers were thankful we could get back to business once again. But the real problem is not hooligans. The real problem is other outfits, like this Teehee gang over here. Outfits are not like small-time loafers. They've got their own underground operations, they've got crew, they've got weapons, and you can bet that they'll be invading your space and stealing your suppliers the first chance they get. So my thinking is always, strike first and strike fast. I managed to get a hold of some new firearms courtesy of our friendly officer Workus, and decided to send some of my men over and ambush their strongest guy under the cover of darkness. If successful, this would strike a crippling blow to their quiet little operation. And the ambush went well, really well. Honestly, one guy with a Tommy gun would have been enough. But you know what really sends a message? Four guys with Tommy guns. And boy, did they get that message. The Teehees are now red-hot mad, and they're pledging a vendetta, as the Italians say. I think they'll cool down in a bit, but for now, me and the boys really have to watch our backs. It's gonna be a dangerous year.